It's one of the harshest environments on Earth. The Himalayan mountains. Only the most seasoned climbers make it to the top of mountains like these. Except for Baru, a sweet stray Nepalese dog that followed Don Wargowski and his team all the way to the top. Once the sun came up, she apparently left the tent, followed our footprints along this technical terrain and met us somewhere around, I think like 22 and a half thousand feet. And we were all stunned. The Sherpa were cheering for her and pumping their fists in the air. And we we're all super happy to see her. What she was able to do on Barunsi is something that most humans couldn't do. And I don't know any other dog in the world that could have done or survived what she did. She was amazingly athletic um, and was very sweet and wonderful to have around the whole time. Named for the Nepalese mountain of Barunsi that she climbed, this dog defied minus 20 degree wind chill and 40 mile per hour winds to make it to the top with just her paws and fur. I was absolutely blown away. Um, there's no reason for a dog to be up there, you know, there's no food, there's no shelter. I don't know what her motivation was to want to join us up there, but we were all just absolutely blown away. It took her two hours to cover the terrain Don and his team had covered in seven. The people who were up there, you know, we're wearing $2,000 down suits and really expensive boots, the best technology known to man with our axes and crampons and spikes on our feet. And she had nothing. So, you know, of course I was a little worried for her, but she did a fantastic job. Don and his team helped her climb down and she stayed with them as they traveled from base camp back to the airport. Word of her amazing feat spread through the Nepalese villages too. But thinking about leaving Baru broke Don's heart. I felt a really strong connection with her. I absolutely love Baru. It, it broke my heart. I mean, I cried when I left her. Uh, and I'm not a terribly emotional person, but um, when you spend three and a half weeks with a person or a dog in a tent, you form a very tight bond. Ultimately, we decided that, you know, my little condo here in Seattle wouldn't be a very fair place to bring such adventurous dogs. That's when Don's friend and Sherpa Kaji stepped in and adopted her paying to bring her all the way to his home in the country's capital. Baru has a lovely life there, and Kaji keeps in touch with Don, who raises money for her and other street dogs. Don says he still doesn't know why Baru climbed all the way to the top, but he likes to think she might have had some help. I'm not a super religious person, but it definitely crossed my mind that, you know, maybe, uh, some of my climbing friends that have passed on were maybe, you know, giving the dog a little nudge up the mountain to, to spend some time with me. For InsideEdition.com, I'm Kaylin Ford.